Alright you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video has to be made. It has to be. I mean, for you guys who followed my journey, it just simply has to be made. I could have just gone, you know, gone quietly and uh, let the date roll over and, and not said anything. But the reality is, guys, is that today's date is October the 6th, 2018. And today, being Saturday, means that the NFL International Combine, or NFL, the inaugural NFL International Combine held on the Gold Coast of Australia is on today. And I'm sitting here in Alice Springs and I'm not there. And the reason is because I was deemed ineligible at the end of the day. So let me just take you back a, a few weeks. Um, I went to Melbourne for the first time in this little football journey of mine, probably, I don't know, a month and a half ago. Whilst I was there, I found out about this combine. I found out about it, I thought, fuck, what a great opportunity. As far as I knew, you had to uh, go to any of the five regional testing days. There was one in Samoa, there was one in Fiji, there was one in Auckland, New Zealand, there was one in Sydney, and there was one in Brisbane. And um, after the one in Brisbane, the, f the final one of the five got wrapped up, they also added one in Melbourne on the 15th of uh, September. So 15th of September was the final testing day. I was unable to, to, to make any of them because of the fact that I lived here, but also because of the fact that I received an email from the NFL or from, you know, from some department in the NFL, basically saying to me that due to, you know, the success of my YouTube channel, due to the fact that I'm, I'm, you know, busting my ass, putting all these videos out, creating this community, they thought it would be great for me to be able to bring my camera along, go and test at the NFL International Combine. So today I would be there testing and, you know, make a video of it and it would be great. Lo and behold, that person from this particular department of the NFL, which is probably like a creative department, you know, marketing, strategy, things like that. Unfortunately, you know, yes, it's fantastic to have ideas, but the reality is, is that the NFL as, a, as an organization is so strict with things, so strict with eligibility. You know, they're not going to include anyone in this thing if they've got a slight chance of not being eligible to go on the draft, for example. And as far as I'm aware, I'm actually not eligible for the draft. So I don't know if that was the case. If, I don't know if that was the reason. I couldn't get an exact reason. But basically, I wasn't the only one in this boat. I think they might have reached out to probably four or five other people around Australia who they were going to give, you know, automatic entry to the combine and I was one of those so they said in the email they said look we, we we're gonna fly you out basically the, the the best athletes of all of those regional testing dates now get flown and accommodated on the Gold Coast for this weekend there's gonna be lots of media and in fact to be honest I, I can't wait to see what the media is like I can't wait to see some footage of it um, you know when I did I did actually speak to someone on the phone about this and I said, you know, it's fine, it's all good, but if I was to get to the Gold Coast, is there any place for me to watch or possibly, you know, take some film? And apparently there's not. So it's going to be closed off, um, there's going to be media coverage, I'm not sure what we're going to be able to see of that as a viewer. But basically, guys, at the end of the day, I had six weeks of massive stress for nothing, because I didn't go. <laughs> So, you know, I'm not holding anything against anyone. This is all just part of this journey. And if I hadn't started doing these reactions six months ago, I wouldn't even be talking about this. So I want to say, guys, if you have supported me, if you wanted to see me in the combine, I'm sorry. But it didn't work out. And it wasn't in my hands. I was told that I didn't have to attend a regional testing day. Lo and behold, that wasn't true. Yes, a creative social media type person would be able to say that to me, but at the end of the day, the people that sent me that email, 
don't make the final decisions. And me, along with a few others, weren't deemed eligible. So, with that being said, my flights weren't booked, my accommodation wasn't booked, and I was told probably five or six days ago that I wasn't going to be coming. So here we are. What have I got left? My other opportunity, with ProKick. I have been on the phone with them, and I will make an update on that in a coming video. Not all is lost, guys. This was going to be an opportunity for me to put myself out there. It was probably going to be my last chance to sort of, you know, at the age of 27, to, um, to, to put my foot forward, to, to, be, to be introduced into this NFL undiscovered, you know, international pathway program. That's what this combine is about. That series I've been reacting to called NFL Undiscovered, that's what this combine, as well as other regional combines around the world, are put on for, I believe, to, to create another series of that program. So with that being said, you know, when this 2019 version of Undiscovered comes out, I can't wait to watch it. If there's any Australians on there, any Samoans, any Fijians, New Zealanders or Australians, I will know that they have been at this combine that is on today, putting their best foot forward, meeting with the right people, rubbing the right shoulders and making sure Every person that they introduce themselves to remembers their fucking name. Make sure of it. So I want to say, guys, good luck to all of the athletes competing, anyone from New Zealand especially. You know, to see a Kiwi in the NFL Undiscovered program next year would be fucking phenomenal. So I want to say good luck. Smash it, guys. Have a great day. And all you guys watching me, man, thanks for the support. I wasn't able to do it this year. You know... The reality is, I got told, you know, a few things on the phone. The reality is, is that they only sort of announced this two months ago. You know, it's been such a, it's such a stretch to, to even get it over the line, to get this thing happening in the, in the little time that they had. You know, I think next year will be a whole different ball game. Um, they'll be advertising it, you know, way, way sooner, getting more and more, more, and more numbers, more competitors, and, you know... Hopefully, if I'm in Australia at that point, I can be involved in some way. I'll be 28, but I don't give a fuck about my age. So I want to say, if you have enjoyed this video, if you want to support me, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. If you're playing football at the moment, man, kill it out there. You never know what opportunity might be lying around the corner.